So in today's video, I want to take a quick second to talk about, you know, something really important to me is just hit me last week when I was at this chill rooftop bar in Manhattan. And I wasn't really there trying to, you know, talk to girls or anything like that. I was actually just pretty much there unwinding with some friends because of some stressful shit that had happened, a situation outside of everything aside. The point is, while I'm in there, you know, I'm just kicking back, and since I'm in chill mode, I, I just start to look at people. I actually start to look at people, trying to think of content. I'm just observing social situations, looking around, looking at how dudes interacting with the chicks, and, and something did hit me. Something hit me, which is just the lack, the lack of being able to read females, women, bitches, read signs. I mean, when you really step back because a lot of times I think we're in social situations so we're not we're just not really we're, we're in the moment so we're not looking at it from an outside perspective but when you actually take a second to just kind of chill and just remove yourself stop thinking of your ego and just kind of watch people you'll notice a lot of shit and what I noticed is that a lot of people a lot of dudes just can't read bitches like you'll see situations where I don't even know the two people. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know their relation to each other, but you can just tell right off the bat that the dude is talking and the bitch is not listening or she's turning away. She's like her body language slowly trying to turn away. Like she really does not want to fucking talk, continue the conversation. Meanwhile, he's just there going along and along and along and vice versa. The same shit happens the other way around. Plenty of bitches are dumb too. Let's not... Let's not get it twisted. The point is that there was a lot of situations where I just seen dudes. And to be fair, you know, there's a lot of situations where dudes are just talking to chicks for the first time. And there's going to be plenty of rejections. But there's also situations where there's, there's couples. It's a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Meanwhile, the girlfriend is looking like everything's more interesting than the fucking actual boyfriend. The, the fucking dude she's with. He might as well not even have a name. He might as well just be boyfriend. Like that. That's what a lot of these chicks tend to relegate these dudes to. Being able to read women, I think, is probably the most underrated fucking thing that is talked about when it comes to getting good with women. I, like, we talk about the things to do and whatnot, but a lot of times is what happens is dudes will come to you, like, a guy will come to me with a specific situation. And I, I feel conflicted for a second because I'm thinking of what I would do, but I have to think of what, you know, what's better for him in that situation and for his character. And ultimately, I have to be able to read the situation. Like, if I'm in the situation, I could read things a little better. I might say something, and I could just immediately tell how she reacts. Maybe I say a joke, and I'm trying to tease and flirt, but I immediately see she's she laughs, but her eyes are kind of, like, uh, uncomfortable. So in that moment, I immediately know, okay, she's kind of cold, like, pull back a little bit, you know, just act accordingly. But other dudes, you might go out there, you might tell them, you might give them advice, and then they go out and do it, and then... They don't read a situation, and then maybe they do something else, and it's just uncalibrated. It's not the right fucking time. You say, you're trying to be flirty when you should stop being flirty and be more serious. You're trying to be serious when you, when you haven't flirted with the bitch at all. It, it's tough because it's hard to teach something like that because it, it almost... Some people, some people are just socially fucking stupid, and it's very difficult to teach them that shit. Like, period. Like, you could throw a fucking textbook of all the greatest shit in the world, and they'll still go out there, and because they don't have that, that kind of just that social recognition of how people feel, empathy. You know what that? You know what it really comes down to is empathy. That's how you're really gonna know how to fucking tell. A woman like when you can read humans when you can be empathetic when you know when you can see and try to put yourself into their perspective because I noticed because if you notice like we all have that one friend who or we've had that one friend in the past where as soon as they start talking they don't shut the fuck up they're in a group they're talking the whole time they're just rambling on and on and on everyone clearly wants them to fucking stop but they just they just don't seem to fucking notice. But in reality, it's not so much that they're stupid because I, I had a I had a friend like that and he was a smart dude. He used to do computers and all this type of shit. You meet people that are so smart and they'll still do this dumb ass shit. And it just seems like how are you so technically smart but so socially stupid? But what I what I think it is, is it's an ego thing. People are so obsessed with their own perspective and what's happening on your end. For example, a lot of dudes who complain on social media about being depressed or just being bored at home or whatever the case is, or just having a hard life, woe is me, all this type of shit. Meanwhile, they're like 25, and, and I'm just kind of thinking, hey, man, if you're miserable now, what's going to happen later? But the point is that those people, 
you you notice they'll never really ask you what your stuff is like they always have a way to one up the miserable shit you're going through they never ask someone else they they just want everyone else to pay attention to them they're constantly in this fucking just this cloud of their own concern but ultimately you have to be able to read chicks and once you can read chicks it allow you to just not get fucking played not get fucking played because that's that's that was the number one theme of that night i just kept seeing dudes getting played in ways where it's like most of the time you can just tell he's getting played just by reading the chick's body language meanwhile i'm not even there i shouldn't know what the fuck is going on meanwhile i just know she's not into you man what does that say that says that clearly you're talking you're talking you're talking but you're not fucking paying attention to the bitch you gotta read i think the first number one cue the eyes man number one cue that's like the First giveaway, the first giveaway. In fact, because chicks are very good at faking their body language, but their eyes, their eyes always give it away. I'm telling you. Like they could be there and be like, hi, da da da, give you a hug and all this shit. But if you look at their eyes, you can see it. You can see when a girl's like really interested. Their eyes, they they light up. When they're not interested, when they're when you're in that friend zone, they give you that fucking friend zone hug. It's more like, eh, like their eyes just kind of lower just that little bit. I know I'm chinky, so maybe I'm not the best person to fucking be an example for this but fuck it ultimately man that's all i got to say man see you on the other side pimp